Well, as you can see, the office has made a bit of an improvement. We got my fancy lights, we got a desk, we got some posters over there, and it's freaking awesome. The only thing I have yet to install is some sound editing. But you guys let me know how it sounds. It should sound way better with this mic, but it might still be a little echoey. But today, we are working on the Volvo yet again. This time, thankfully, we don't have to fix it. It's still working. This time, we're improving it. We've got two modifications today, both of which won't do anything but make the engine more reliable, which means we can turn it up. The big thing is this, which is a new crank pulley, because something happened to the old one. See, the Volvo has something called death wobble. Now, that's not to be confused with the death wobble that my drift truck has when you drive over, you know, 60 miles an hour. This is death wobble in the crankshaft. You can see it most clearly when the car's idling. The crankshaft pulley is actually wobbling all over the place. When I first saw that, I kind of got freaked out because I thought there was something seriously wrong with the engine. Turns out that having a wobbly crank pulley is somewhat common on these motors. Having a wobbly crank pulley is bad because that's causing unwanted vibrations throughout the motor, and that increases the likelihood of something breaking. So this bad boy will fix the wobble. It will also help combat some of the extra vibrations caused by the motor making twice the factory horsepower. Now, this is the other thing I got. This is a Motion Raceworks steam port kit. LS Motors have two ports on each head, which are supposed to be plumbed back into the coolant system. I didn't know that, so I just blocked those ports off. Turns out that's one of the easiest ways to blow up your LS. Let's get started with this crank pulley. I don't have a pulley puller, so I guess I'm gonna have to get a new tool. Got the goods. Crank pulley's fighting me a little bit. Problem is that it's a little tight in there, so I can't get my impact on there. So I'm trying to use a wrench with another wrench on the end of that wrench to loosen the crank pulley. I can't get it. Sometimes if you can't figure something out, you just gotta take a break, drink some water, mm. and eat some goldfish. Well, it is a rainy day here in Monroe. Thankfully, it is seeming like we're getting at least a few hours break from the rain, although it's supposed to rain all tonight and all tomorrow. Point is, we gotta get back to work. But first, a word from this video's sponsor, Harry's. Personally, my least favorite thing about shaving, A, razors are expensive, and B, 
There's so many different types that have all these different blades and all this random stuff. And that is where Harry's comes into play. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable, and simple shave for a super fair price. Now, I've actually been using Harry's for pretty much my entire adult male life. There are a couple things that I love about Harry's. Number one, their razors are super high quality, but also just super simple. Built in their own factory in Germany with a 100% quality guarantee, and the razor has a rubber-coated handle that's weighted, so it feels awesome in your hand. Secondly, their affordable price, only $2 per refill. Thirdly is convenience. You can get Harry's with a subscription, so you get your razors delivered to your door when you need them. And lastly, I love Harry's because they don't just make razors. They make this awesome shaving gel that smells amazing, and then they also have things like deodorant. Now here's the awesome part. You guys can get a trial set for just $3 if you go to harrys.com forward slash gingio. In your trial set, you'll get a razor, a handle, a blade cover, and their foaming shave gel. Thank you so much to Harry's for sponsoring this video. Now the new crank pulley is installed right there, um, but we do still have to pin it. So if you guys remember, the crank pulleys on these motors are just pressed on, and sometimes when you're making big power, they will slip. So you drill a hole through the pulley and the crank, then put two pins in it. The crank has holes from the last pulley, but now we have to put new holes in this pulley so it doesn't, I pretty much just have to drill into my $6,000 motor and my $600 crank pulley in order for it to work. So the crank pulley is all done. Now we have to move on to the steam port kit. In order to install that kit, which is like the fittings are right down there, we gotta take off the intake manifold, unfortunately. So all of this stuff has gotta go bye-bye. So now you can see these are our steam port kits right there. Then there's two ports that are blacked off in the back of the head. Now it's just a simple matter of installing the fittings and routing it up to here. Then we're gonna have to drill and tap the radiator. It's clear that I need to buy some sort of under hood light to continue filming outside. Uh, so I'm sorry, but uh, next time. Now just to make sure that the fitting doesn't leak, I want to go ahead and put some JB Weld on it. In order for the JB Weld to adhere to the aluminum nicely, you want to sand it. And I don't have sandpaper. I don't feel like going to the store. So I've got some one grit sandpaper right here, natural. It's working.
Well, it's another beautiful day down in Georgia. Really humid since it was raining the past two days, but it's not too hot. The Volvo is pretty much all finished. All we gotta do is do some final assembly, do some cleaning up of zip ties and, you know, actually mounting stuff. Then we have to bleed the coolant system, and then we're good to go. I think we're totally done. I'm gonna go ahead, prime the fuel system, make sure there's no leaks, then start her up and let her hit operating temp. Everything seems to be in order. Let me show you something awesome. The crank pulley is buttery smooth. Fan popped on, everything is good, there aren't any leaks. This fitting is not leaking. It swallowed some coolant, so we'll top it off. But I'm gonna go ahead and call that a mission success. Now, as I said before, there really shouldn't be any discernible difference while driving. It's really just about peace of mind. Because, you know, knowing that my 700 horsepower car that has stock brakes, stock suspension, no safety equipment, doesn't have a wobbly crank pulley, or a uh, you know, screwed up coolant system, it really, it really makes me feel good. It makes me feel nice and safe. turning up the boost, which is what these mods have allowed us to do, is flat foot shifting. And that, ladies and gents, is what we are going to be doing in the next video. We're going to be setting up flat foot shifting and testing that as well as launch control. And once that's all figured out, we get to take the Volvo back to the drag strip. It's going to be way more reliable because the stuff we did today, the fuel system is going to keep up, it's going to launch hard because we've got launch control, and I'll be able to shift faster and keep and boost more because flat foot shifting. But yeah, if you guys want to get early access to the next video as well to a bunch of other exclusive content, check out my Patreon. I'm trying to get some really, really awesome but really expensive camera equipment, so all the support from Patreon is going to go into that. Gotta say, I had a really, really good time working on the car this time. It was just one of those times where I'm sitting there wrenching and actually enjoying myself. We all know that sometimes working on a car can be miserable, but we also all know that the hard work pays off. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. But if you didn't, give it a dislike. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.